Ready, one, two, three, yup. Yup. It's a barbaric yup. 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 <laughs> that was horrible. No. <laughs> we yup in the face of fear, barbarically. Barbarically. <laughs> uh, that's from our, my favorite movie. Well, it's not your favorite movie necessarily, but she's, she gets it there. I have watched it many times, though. <laughs> yeah, Dead Poets Society, where he talks about a barbaric yop. And uh, anyways, I hope you get that reference. But uh, <laughs> look, man, we're going to have a good time in God's word. It's a no fear Friday. That's why we have this barbaric yop that we do to start every Friday show. Because we yop in the face of fear with the faith of the Son of God. Let's do it. Amen. It's way, way to get your courage up. Yop, try it. Where are you? Wherever you are. Get somewhere where you can yop. Come on. Do it with us. Ready? One, two, three. Be right back. I'm just going to yop. a good word from god's ow why i'm fighting by what by resting in god oh uh -huh. i see how you did that there you go well there is a, a way to fight by resting that's right it's like you because uh so those are to say sometimes every once in a while it wasn't every time though right sometimes he'd tell the children of israel pick up their swords and fight and there were sometimes he said stop trust me i got yes. this maybe it had to do with them starting to trust in their own abilities a little mm, too much. I don't good. know. That's good. Or maybe, maybe it was just that they needed to see, maybe they needed a blow. They needed a rest. They needed to just relax for a minute. Like you guys have been fighting and going through a lot. I got this. Just shh. <laughs> sit down. But Hebrews chapter four and verse 10 is where the word of the day comes from today. We're going to talk about fighting by resting in God. So Hebrews chapter four, verse 10 says, for he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his. So, so resting is, is a way that we, um, we, we pause, we breathe, we, we, we take right. that rest and allow God to, to refresh us. Um, but it's so hard. Okay. Let's be honest. It's so hard because you get in that, that, that work mode, that go mode, that fight mode. And it's just, you know, it, it's a, what is that, that phrase? Um, uh, uh, a person in motion tend to stay in motion yeah. a person wait what is it or just an object but yeah an you object, could say a person yeah an object in motion tends to stay people in motion. are objects an object at rest tends to stay at rest but there's that that matter of of you continuing to go and to go and i think correct me if i'm wrong but i think that we You're do wrong. that <laughs> i think that we do that out of a fear of being out of control yes and and by the way, go ahead and stay tuned for comments. We're going to do those at the end of the show. But what Pastor Christie said there is just too good. We're just going to go right into it. Look, uh, I agree with that, that, that heart place. Uh, rest, you know, what's interesting is the ability to rest, I find, comes from a deep, assured trust and confidence in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Like that's bottom line. It's trust. Like yeah. if you don't have trust, you can't rest. And I think every once in a while, God, you're out doing stuff and you just can't stop. Like you said, the body, body in motion tends to stay in motion. Body at rest tends to stay at rest. But really, God, all, when, I don't know that he ever wants us to come out of rest, uh, according to the scripture. Because, because that means we let God rest, do what exactly, he's doing. Because <laughs> yeah. his rest is trust. His rest is trust. And, and that place of trust is a place we should never come out of. And so uh, I think it, it takes an attentive ear to the voice of the Holy Spirit, because by nature, we are to fight by faith. That's mm -hmm. part of your DNA as a Christian. And there's different ways to fight. Sometimes the, the Lord will say, like he did to the children of Israel, like, lay down your weapons, just watch me deliver you. One time he confused the enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, the enemy was out there doing crazy stuff and the enemy beat each, you know, it was like a liar, liar. He was beating himself up in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kicking my own. <laughs> <laughs> right i'm kicking my own butt but uh except he didn't say but no uh, we're not allowed you to know, say that word wait but or the other one the other one beep yeah 
Anyways. You know, but I think that the <laughs> I think that the enemy would do that a lot more often if we allowed God to take control more often than That's us good. trying to fix it. You know? Yeah. I think so many. Maybe 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 they could have done that more often than they decided to. Yeah. God still blessed them anyways. Well, that's, that's but I don't know if they enjoyed the ride as much. <laughs> that's God's grace, you know. No matter what we do, no matter, and, and I think that that's what we talked about David earlier this week. I think that that's what he understood mm. is it was not about his own performance because no matter how much he tried, he was going to mess it up, and he messed it up. And I know that that's how we feel a lot of times, you know. I, I'm trying my best here, but it's messed up. You know, it's it's not working. It's you know, and we. And we get frustrated and we get frustrated at people. We get frustrated at ourselves. We get frustrated at situations. We get frustrated at God. And and all he's <laughs> trying to say, <laughs> all he's trying to say is, shh, I got this. Yes. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the word. That when you, so so let's let's do the easy math here from this verse. You enter into rest by ceasing from your works. So. That means it's I, it's addition by subtraction. Mm. So what he's saying is you take your hands off. You do physically less. You stop overthinking. You stop trying to do it. You say, well, people, that's a big thing right now. People think, oh, I'm overthinking. I'm an overthinker. Mm-hmm. Um, no, you're just worrying. You're trying to do it. You're trying to figure out the situation. You're trying to find solutions to something yeah. that God says, I got the solution. You just got to stop. Just give it to me. And, and then I find that when you take your hands off and it's addition by subtraction, what you're looking for just kind of, it's just given to you. It's like, seek first the kingdom Mm -hmm. and all the things are added. And so, so let's cease from our works. Let's choose to enter into rest. And as we do that today on a Friday, you're going to find the peace that you're looking for. You're going to find, I I, I think of, um, look, you got to, you know, so oxygen, you breathe in. And we have to breathe out too. Like we yeah. can't just just constantly, you know, just keep. I'm, I'm going to do more. I'm going to be more. I'm going to. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to. And it, you just keep taking in. Right. Right. And God says, dude, let me. You know the, this this verse. Um, For he who has entered his rest, God's rest, has himself also ceased from his work. So remember, it's not about what you can do and it's not about what you can't do. Amen. God already, already knows your you know what you can do and he already knows what you can't do and he's made provision uh for both. So do what you can do and mm, let God so do the rest and Yeah, and uh you know, I even think mentally from a place of I think that I think that's especially mentally. Well, that's one of the places that mental um, sickness and illness comes from. It's mm-hmm. people that are turning to substances and abusing things they shouldn't abuse and overthinking, overanalyzing, leading to anxiousness and panic attacks and all these other things. It's not a, it, it might be a chemical imbalance, but it was induced by the thought life. And so so there's a releasing of those thoughts. And I, I we talked about it all week. And if you really want to fight it by faith and enter into a place of rest, and tr- which is trust, mm-hmm. rest is trust, mm-hmm. then you got to praise him. You just got to praise him. You got to thank God. You got to focus on the goodness of God and watch yes. him do all those things. Amen. Amen. Hey, right before we do our confessions, I want to go ahead and, and our viewers, they give some awesome comments. And so we wanted to um, share with you some of the comments from our viewers um, over this last week. So the first one, here we go. Nicole Perez says, I'm up right now with hives on my body, some type of stress reaction. And I swear I was called to this video. Thank you, pastors. I feel like I needed to hear this and take responsibility for enabling myself to stay down instead of fighting. Thank you so much for this work. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's awesome. Amen. Uh, Kat says, I love coffee and confessions and I'm thankful uh, to all who make it happen. This literally keeps me grounded and focused on God's word and not the noise of the world around me. Have a blessed week. That's why we do the show. Amen. That's awesome. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Cyborgs for Christ says crisscross applesauce. All may be broken. Some may get fixed, but none will be discarded. Family chat life matters. Time to get interactive. Yeah. I like that part. Uh, he's always a good, a, 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 an encourager of that. So let's always stay interactive. Um, Stitch to Victory says, 
I love me some roast turkey and pumpkin pie. <laughs> One day I'm going to celebrate Thanksgiving the right way in the USA. Hey, there you that would go. be awesome. You're welcome to our house anytime for that. Love that you've brought Thanksgiving into June. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. I was born on Thanksgiving. This is Amanda. Nice. See, I was born on Thanksgiving on November 22nd, 1990 after dinner. Whoa, cool fact cool about fact. me. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that was a big day for your mom, yeah. man. Um, Elizabeth said, great message today, y'all. Uh, looking onward, upward towards Jesus, looking through the problem to the glory the Lord has for us. I love it. Thank you. Amen, man. All right, let's go ahead and wrap her up. Let's do our confessions. Best part of the show. Here we go. I rest and trust in you today, my God. Here we go. I, I rest, rest and trust, trust in you today, today my God. God. Praise the Lord. I let go of every issue and trying to make things work myself. This is good. Let's say it. I let, I let go, go of, of every issue, issue and, and trying, trying to, to make, make things, things work, work myself. myself. <sighs> That's like an exhale that right is. there. Man. I hope you've enjoyed your time with Coffee and Confessions this week. We look forward to doing this each and every week with you. Um, it's important to us that you are here throughout the summer and a part of this throughout uh, the year, a part of our Coffee and Confessions family. Pastor Christy and I both wanted to just give you a heartfelt thank you for being a part of our virtual family um, here on YouTube and on Coffee and Confessions. That's right. If you're not a part of our virtual family yet, we would love to have you be a part of it. Just hit the subscribe button and drop your name and where you're watching from in the comments so we can shout you out as a new family member. Yeah, get to church this weekend. We'll see you Monday. God bless you. Oh,